Hey, this is Paolo from the MB Academy and in today's video we're gonna be taking a look at how to make bases like the ones in the track War Dove by Calix and TV. So this is the original track. <laughs> Super heavy. And this is the bass we're gonna be making. Not as heavy and I know it's not exactly the same, but I think this sound will help us illustrate the type of modulations of movement that you need to take in order to create a similar sound. But before we get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any future videos. And if you want to get access to a preset and project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initialist patch. And the first thing we're going to do is to set up the pitch bend range to just one and then automate the pitch bend wheel like this. Just like that. Then we need to select a different wave table to create this growl. So for example, we have these spectral ones. Me, I have my own custom ones. But in this case, let's just try to create one version using the spectral ones. This one should be cool. Let's try to add the bend minus mode to make it sound a bit more organic. That should be cool. Then let's add a bandpass filter like this. Nice. And then let's add another for it to the cutoff of this filter. Then let's create a shape like this. Let's add it on one bar. Trigger. There you go. Then let's turn on the sub and the noise. Let's add a similar LFO into the noise, but let's bring the level down. Okay, and I'll run everything through distortion. Nice, then let's add a compressor before everything, set our multiband. And then let's boost the highs. Bring this noise down and then we can play with the cutoff of this bantos filter oh that sounds really nice let's set the random factor of the face all the way down nice let's make the sub a bit lower awesome then let's add a EQ with a big peak, just like that. Let's set it lower, and then let's modulate this cutoff. Oh, that sounds sick. There you go. Then let's add a phaser. And we're also gonna modulate the cutoff of this phaser. Let's add the resonance. There you go. And so this is a basic structure for growl instead of serum. We can always play with the cutoff. That's sick, actually. And we can always play with different wavetables. one is really nice let's leave it like that and now let's jump into some post-processing for this type of bass so the first element of post-processing is this rack called the wider bass and the only thing we're doing is having a parallel layer of noise generated by avocado and layering that with the dry version and we can change the format here Oof, that's sounding really nice. And then we have an EQ boosting the low resonant spot. Then we can just shape the harmonics of our sound however we want and also the noise. Then we have a phaser. That allows us to shape the format of the sound. 
that's really nice. Actually, this sound is better than my other version, somehow. Then we have another EQ. There you go. That's just boosting the mids and the highs. Then we have a parallel uh, layer, and this one is super interesting. So let me just walk you through it. First, we have a dry layer like this. And then we have an isolated version of the low harmonics, but with the CQ like this. So just the resonance part of the growl. And then we can add a frequency shifter. And just let me init this frequency shifter real quick. So the frequency shifter comes like this. And you're supposed to be able to move the frequencies around. And what we're going to do is we're just going to bring the dry and wet uh, to 50%. So we have uh, a bit of the dry version, a bit of the wet version. And then we're going to boost the fine tuning. And so now we have that movement and we can layer that with the other growl, which sounds insane. And we can control the rate with this fine tune knob. Which sounds really interesting. Uh, this brings a bit lower. And then let's uh, add a soft clipper. And then I added three OTTs, but I don't think we're going to need them in this sound. So let's just try and see how this sound like um, without. And then with it. Yeah, it's a lot more thin. So let's not use this for now. Uh, then I have uh, an EQ. Boosting that. So let's actually try this EQ with the OTTs. So now. Yeah, it's just a different sound, depends on uh, your taste. But in this case, without OTTs, would sound better. So actually, this was awesome. This recreation ended up being better than the other one. Uh, again, you can experiment with, with the filter. And with different wavetables. Maybe you can map another phone to the wavetable position like a different one that's super slow, like going down like this uh, one bar and now Oh, that's super nice. Let's uh, pitch bend differently. This spot of the wavetable is sick. And then with a bit of different facing from the frequency shifter, uh, we can do this. <laughs> that sounds amazing. So yeah, that's going to be it for the sound also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel and hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to a preset the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.